a lot harder, man. Man, his knock control is 0.86, man. That's so high. An inch and three quarters. Aftermarket RB6 J pipe. It's about two and a quarter. It's gonna flow so much better, guys. J pipe. It's literally a three inch pipe. One guy on Instagram, he installed a J pipe and three catalytes and an intake on a manual. He made 280 to the wheels. <laughs> another video today we got a 20 yeah let's see here let's see what year it is we have a 2012 acura tl and it's a six speed today i'll be installing the rb6 j pipe long tube and also the rb6 high flow catalytic converters and these are actually uh, black ceramic coated that way it'll retain heat I'll also be doing a temperature difference versus the ceramic coated and the non-ceramic coated. Those are these are actually the pre-cat deletes. So these are not catalytic converters, they're just pipes. We'll see how much of a difference it is temperature wise. So this particular customer, he's looking to gain some performance for his 4 GTO. This is a really good start of gaining some performance because the stock J pipe and the stock catalytic converter is so restrictive. Whereas going RV6 performance. Uh, this is a pretty good brand if you're looking for performance. The V6 Hondas. Their exhaust on this is really restrictive. I'll show you guys once I get it out and all that and show you guys the difference. The J Pipe Long Tube deletes the third cat, but we'll still have the primary cat. I'm curious what it's going to sound like with the stock cat pack exhaust system. I don't think I'll be doing an installation video since I've already done one for the pre cat deletes. Let's hear what the stock exhaust sounds like. After install these parts, it'll be way louder, I believe. I'm gonna see if there's a difference in the in the butt dyno, guys. Man, the 4G stock man pulls so much harder than my third gen. This is this is crazy. Well, it's not my car. I'm not gonna do crazy pulls on it, guys. Just as much as got, I'm gonna go with it. And we're gonna make this thing a bit louder. My guy is making 23, he's getting 23 miles per gallon. Wow. This thing is breaking traction when I shift from second to third. Wow, at like, like 60, I don't know, 7,000 RPM. It's breaking traction, man. All right, everyone, I got the J pipe out and the stock J-pipe and the stock catalytic converter. Now this one, I actually took the shield off. Now this is for the rear catalytic converter over there by the firewall. And I took the heat shield out. And let me show you guys the difference between the RB6 piping. So this is the RB6 high flow cats. As you can see right here, it's just, I like how it flows right here, this neck right here versus we look at the stock cats, it is just literally does not flow as well versus the one on the right. I believe this is just so restricted, guys. And also right here, the inlet, these are about the same size, I believe. Maybe this is a bit slightly bigger. I measured it. It was almost the same. But I did measure this hole right here. This is about two and a quarter inch across or the di diameter, whereas, whereas the uh, hole for the stock hat, um, right here is like less than two inches. It's like almost two inches, guys. So this one has way bigger holes, man. And this is what I'm talking about. This is where you lose a lot of power, guys. With your original cats, you lose a lot of power here because the, the exhaust cannot flow fast enough, guys. It's just so restricted. Whereas this is just, getting high flow cats or pre-cat deletes this will definitely help you performance gains now if you guys are willing to get the Gersey bear supercharger kit the high flow cats 
uh, will not work with the Gersey Bread Kit. You'd have to actually get the pre-cat deletes. Just for some information there. All right, let's look at the J-pipe. The J-pipe, this hole right here, it's about, let's see, like two and three quarters of an inch hole. Whereas the RB6 J-pipe, it's literally a three inch pipe. I mean, can't get no better than that, guys. Let's look at the holes where they, for these two holes for the, J, the stock J-pipe. And it's about less than about an inch and three quarters. I believe Let's see here inch and three quarters whereas aftermarket rb6 j pipe it's about two and a quarter and two and a quarter there it's gonna flow so much better guys this rb6 i have the same rb6 j pipe on my fourth gen auto and this brand is really good i love it i've never had any issues with it let's put this in and i will show you guys what it sounds like pretty soon the stock casts have these um heat shields right because these catalytic converters they get to like 700 degrees maybe a thousand who knows but they get super hot so what the kirby devan did he actually had he paid a company to get this ceramic coated so that way um it'll retain the heat and so i have my temperature gun and we will see how hot they get and how how well the ceramic coating works so uh let's get this installed and let's see what happens before we get to installing just want to let you guys know that rv6 does provide you with all of the gasket necessary and the hardware to install these now one thing i do want to mention is for those that's installed the j pipes um i got some i got a lot of dms on instagram saying hey my car is uh, making a noise after i installed my j rb6 j pipe well you didn't install your spacers for the this brace right here you guys have to install this so that way the j pipe will not be rubbing on the that brace Install is complete. All right, here we go, guys. We're about to find out what it sounds like. I'm sure it won't smell as bad as the uh, pre-cat deletes. The pre-cat deletes absolutely stinks, guys. So until the cats warm up, we'll see how it smells like right now. Everything's so cold. No check engine lights. We're good. No leaks. Man, it's really quiet, guys. Maybe that's a bit, the noise is a bit uh, deeper. But it's pretty quiet. All right, let's go ahead and lower it and go on a test drive. I know it'll definitely feel def different performance-wise. I'm gonna go take on the test drive now and see what we find or see how the wet dyno feels like. Yo, this looks just like Revzalot's car, man. But Revzalot does not have this, uh, he hasn't had this installed yet. Revzalot, you need, you need to hurry up and install your dang H-Spec kit, bro. <laughs> so my customer, he's got the, uh, told me that he's already got the tune for the J-pipe and the uh, high flow clats installed in the K-tuner. So let's go ahead, go ahead and do that. Ooh, yes. <clears throat> So a lot of people has been asking, is the K-Tuner worth it? Um, I'm thinking about doing a video on that soon, guys. Um, yes, it is definitely worth it if you plan on doing this kind of mods, like performance mods. Um, especially if you get 
uh, pre-cat deletes like I do. I had to disable the code for it. But anyways, this that'll be on another video. All right, guys, tune is done. Guys, I got my little infrared thermometer. Let's go on a test drive. Man, his knock control is 0.86, man. That's so high. Mine's usually around, I don't know, mine's way lower than his. There's a slight, tiny little rasp that I hear. Yo, the clutch on this thing is so soft, man, versus my third gen. It's super soft. It's so easy to drive. Man, his knock control is too high, man. So the exhaust smell, um, I smell the pre-cats right now. It smells like it's just burning. Just cause it's probably old from all the factory stuff. Um, but when it was running in the garage after it warmed up, the exhaust did not smell bad at all. So it's, the high flow cast is doing its job. Um, I wish this knock control was a bit lower because it's 0.83 right now. Yo, how does it... Yo, burning out in third gear, man. What the heck? Yo, these manuals are something else, man. It's super fun to drive these things. Driving my third gen, man. I I've gotten so much practice. I'm, I'm comfortable driving a stick now, so... Man, his knock count went up man, to like 0.99, but man, he need to set up his two-step. All right, let's do a little pull here and see how it feels. This thing is absolutely quiet, man. With the high flow cats, it's super quiet. I'm really curious what kind of numbers it's gonna, it'll put down on a, a custom dyno team. Three. Damn! <laughs> Whoa! Yo, the autos will not do this, guys. It will not peel out from second to third. That's crazy. But my final thoughts on this, I feel like it pulls a lot harder from uh, mid to high RPMs. Another thing, it does not smell. It, the smell is not there. <laughs> Guys, this thing is pulling a lot harder, man. Wow. Definitely, I feel it definitely on the top end. So the power is definitely there, guys. With the K-Tuner, oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna take a temperature real quick. So the O2 sensor is around 540. And the high flow pass is around 504. 480 all right let's check out the back so the back is around 505 476 443 567 actually 573 so that's the temperature for the uh high flow cats so it's around 500 400 degrees maybe close to six with the with it ceramic coated so that's pretty cool now I'm gonna drive my TL and I'm gonna warm mines up and see what the temperature difference is. Cold start with the pre-cat deletes and J-pipe. It's not even close to like one 
my car is pulling way harder than his. I'm not sure why his knock control is high, but if his knock control was way lower, this car would pull way harder, man. I just used Costco gas 93, guys. Just got finished warming this up, so let's check the temperatures. This is at five. for the pre-cat deletes are actually a bit lower because there's no cat in there a cat is meant to get super hot well guys that's the temperature difference for the pre-cat deletes and the hypo cats that concludes the video for today guys um if you guys haven't subscribed man subscribe to the channel definitely help the channel grow and like the video if you like it guys it'll definitely help and uh see you guys next video thanks for watching guys peace